Hi Year 3, so our power of reading text this term is The Mousehole Cat. Um, it is written by Antonia Barber and it is illustrated by Nicola Bailey. Okay, so at the far end of England, a land of, of rocks and moorland stretches itself over out into a blue-green sea. Between its high headlands lie tiny sheltering harbours where the fishing boats hide when the winter storms are blowing. One of these harbours is so small that the entrance between its great stone breakwaters is so narrow that fishermen call it the mouse hole. The people who live in the cottages around the harbour grew fond of the name and they called their village mouse hole to this day. They say it, they say it in the Cornish way, mousel, but you may say it however you choose. Once there lived in the village a cat whose name was Mauser. She had an old cottage with a window overlooking the harbour, an old rocking chair with patchwork cushions and an old fisherman named Tom. Mauser had many kittens in her time, but they had all grown up and left home. Her eldest son kept the inn in the quayside. It was noisy and smoky and his man had once spilled beer on Mauser's head as he was drawing a pint. So, she didn't go there very often. One of her daughters kept the shop on the corner. It was busy and crowded, and her lady had once stepped on Mauser's tail when she was weighing out some vegetables. So she didn't go there very often either. Sometimes Mauser felt that her children had not trained their people properly. Her own pet, old Tom, was very well behaved. He never spilled the cream when he was filling her saucer. He always stoked the range to a beautiful golden glow. He rocked the rocking chair at just the right speed. He knew the exact spot behind her left ear where Mauser liked to be tickled. What was more, he never wasted his time drawing pints of beer or weighing out vegetables. When he was not looking after Mauser, he passed the day in the most useful way possible. He took his little boat through the narrow opening between the great breakwaters out into the blue-green sea and caught fish for Mauser's dinner. Mauser was very partial to a plate of fresh fish. In fact, she never ate anything else, but she did like a variety. So, on Monday, they made moggy broth, Mauser's favourite fish stew. On Tuesday, they baked hake and topped it with golden mashed potatoes. On Wednesday, they cooked kedgeree with, de with delicious smoked ling. On Thursday, they grilled fair maids, a mouth of watering meal. On Friday, they fried lances with a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. On Saturday, they, they scoused scat with vinegar and onions. <clears throat> on Sundays, they made stargazy pie with prime pictures in pastry. All in all, Mauser's days passed very pleasantly. Mm. Then one year came a terrible storm. At the far end of England, the blue-green sea turned grey and black. The great storm cat is stirring, thought Mauser as she watched at her window. The wind whined like a wild thing about the high headlands. It came hunting the fishing boats in their hidden harbours. When the sto great storm cat is howling, thought Mauser, it is best to stay snug inside by the friendly fire. The sea drew itself up into giant waves and flung itself against the great breakwaters. All along the coast of Cornwall, the stone walls stood in shock. Then the sea sucked up its strength again and roared right over them, sinking the sailing boats in their home havens. But it could not get into Mouse Hole. Mauser watched as the great storm cat clawed him with his giant cat paws through the gap in the harbour wall. But it was too small. He snarled and leaped up at the great breakwater under, under the lowering sky. But it was too high. The fishing boats sat safe as mice in their own mouse hole, but they could not get out. Okay, 
Um, our first task that we would like you to do is uh, broken down into two parts. The first thing we would like you to do is to create an image, a drawing of your own interpretation of this storm which was described in the text. Once you have finished your um, drawing, we would then like you to describe your storm. In your description, we would like you to use adjectives, similes, alliteration, and personification. See if you can include some of the um, key phrases from what you have heard. For example, the wind whined like a wild thing.